Hi everyone, this is me again, Ma'am Tereba, and I'm your guidance counselor. Today, we are going to start with the first part of our career guidance using the Multiple Career Development Toolkit. So the first part of the toolkit is entitled Starting a Career Planning Journey. But before we begin, I have here the objectives of our session for today. Number one, to be able to set goals as you envision your life in the future. And number two, to identify purpose and career goals. Now, I have a question for you, my dear grade 11 and 12 students. How do you envision your life in the future? Ano ba ang naiimagine mo sa magiging buhay mo sa hinaharap? And what kind of life do you want to live? Ano bang klaseng pamumuhay ang gusto mong meron ka? Okay? Identifying a purpose and career goals gives you a sense of direction. When you know your goals, you will know where to go. We must have different options because lack of flexibility can prevent you from adapting to the changes, challenges, and opportunities that may come your way as you pursue your individual life journey. At this moment, I will tell you first the story of an inspiring person who is, I believe, all familiar to us. He is no other than Manny Pacquiao. So, kilala nyo ba si Manny Pacquiao? Manny Pacquiao is a professional boxer hailing from Philippines. He was the second highest paid athlete in the world in 2012 with total earnings of $62 million. He has the unique distinction of being the only boxer to be a world champion in eight different weight divisions. He also has been the first boxer to win the lineal championship in four different weight classes. He has been named the Fighter of the Decade by the World Boxing Council or WBC and the World Boxing Organization or WBO for the decade lasting from 2001 to 2002. He has won the Best Fighter of ESPY Award in 20 and 2009 and 2012. For more than seven years, Manny Pacquiao was rated as the best proud four-pound boxer in the world. Now, let us talk about the childhood of Manny Pacquiao. Emmanuel de Pedran or Manny Pacquiao was born in Bukidnon, Philippines on December 17, 1978. He, has, uh, he is the fourth of six children who were raised up by a single mother. Their family lived in extreme poverty and thus he had to drop out from school because his mother was unable to pay the school fees. At the age of 14, Manny left his house and went to Manila in order to earn little money. But instead of finding work, he began boxing in the streets and soon he was selected to the National Amateur Boxing Team. He was provided food and boarding which helped him concentrate solely on improving his boxing skills. He impressed his coaches by achieving record of a 60 of 4 in a total of 64 amateur fights. Now, are you inspired by Manny Pacquiao's story? So, alam naman natin na isa siya sa mga sikat na Pinoy na talaga namang nagpursigi para naman maabot niya ang kanyang kinalalagyan ngayon. Now, let us always remember that setting right goal in life is very important. Now, uh, do you know someone who has the same story? Okay, what about you? What kind of life do you intend to live? We all know that setting the right goals is important and we need to take small steps in taking the goals. And taking small steps, of course, begins with uh, your simple actions like studying for your quizzes, studying for an examination, doing your assignment, doing your task as a student. So with this, with those small steps, I know it only means to say that you are already making a huge difference in your life so when you are able to do those small steps now that will guarantee of course something na maaaring makapag-achieve ka ng mas malaki or mas maganda nga magkakaroon ka ng mas magandang achievement someday and also ask this question to yourself okay try nyo nga ding itanong ito sa sarili nyo let us try to ponder more on this number one is where I am now, okay? Nasaan ka na ba ngayon? So, malamang ikaw ay nasa, uh, ikaw ay grade 11 or 12 na, you are about to graduate in senior high school. Now, what is your present role in your family and in your community? Ano ba ang uh, role mo or ginagampanan mong mga responsibilidad? O ano ba ang mga ginagampanan mong responsibilidad sa yung family 
at sa yung community. And uh, where do you want to be five years from now? So, do you imagine yourself uh, five years from now? So, ano ba ang nai-imagine mo? Ano ba ang nakikita mo sa sarili mo simula sa araw na ito? After five years, ano na kaya naman ang magiging itsura mo? Ano na kaya ang narating mo sa iyong buhay? So, malamang sa ganitong mga panahon, kung magpapatuloy ka sa iyong pag-aaral, malamang ikaw ay isa ng graduate ng uh, college or maaring ikaw na din ay nagtatrabaho, ba? So, pero ano ba ang naiisip mo? Ano ba ang naiimagine mo sa magiging buhay mo after 5 years? And uh, what are my plans in the future? Ano ba yung mga plano mo? So, do you have plans? So, it is, I think, better to write all your answers to these questions in a piece of paper. I am going to flash all the questions and please try to answer all these questions in a piece of paper. Okay? Napakasimple lang naman ng isasagot natin as so what are my plans in the future so do you have any plans definitely per ano ba ang yung mga plano sa hinaharap and how can i get there ano kaya sa tingin mo ang mga pamamaraan para makuha mo ang iyong mga pangarap or maabot mo ang iyong mga pangarap at what do i need to do to reach my career goals syempre may mga gagawin tayo in order for us to reach our goals so what are those things that we need to do in order for us to reach those career goals and what kind of life do I dream for myself and my family? Anong klaseng buhay ba ang pinapangarap mo para sa iyong sarili at para sa iyong pamilya? So, napakaganda na itanong natin ito sa ating mga sarili dahil mas ma-realize natin kung ano ba talaga ang mga plano natin sa buhay, ano ba yung mga gusto nating uh, gawin sa ating buhay at paano mo ito maaabot, di ba? Now, we are going to have a uh, tool number one. So, uh, if you don't have yet a copy of this tool, I am going to put it in the description box. Okay? So, let's begin with tool one. Okay, so this is our tool one. Ano? Ito ang ating tool one for our multiple career development pathway toolkit. Ayan. So, this is under our module starting a career planning journey. And the title of our tool one is The Life I Want to Live as an Adult. But before that, of course, let us have first the definition of career planning. Ano nga ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng career planning? And is there a need for us to have this planning in terms of career. So, pag sinabi natin career planning, my dear grade 11 and 12 students, it refers to a lifelong process that focuses on making decisions to help you manage your future work and personal life in general. Uulitin ko, ito ay isa daw na lifelong process, okay? Medyo mahaba-haba itong proseso na kung saan ito ay uh, nagpo-focus sa paggawa daw po natin ng mga desisyon in order for us to manage our future or para mas ma-manage natin ang in in ang uh, or uh, para mas ma-manage natin ang ating uh, mga future work and our personal life in general. And this means that planning your career is not separate from planning the rest of your life. So this worksheet aims to help you set your future career directions anchored on the things that you value such as personal interests, families, and dream jobs. Ayan. So siguro naman po malinaw na sa atin ang career planning. Napaka-importante nito para mas mag-guide tayo kung ano nga ba talaga ang mga decision natin or mga plano natin sa buhay, ano yung mga decisions natin in terms of work, in terms of our future work. Ang pagpaplano daw ng ating mga career ay kabilang na rin sa mga plano na dapat natin gawin sa ating buhay, di ba? So, ito ay isa sa mga mahalagang plano na kailangan nating pagtuunan ng pansin. Okay? So, meron tayo ditong direction Ang sabi dito, you are going to read each question carefully in case there are some questions or clarifications. Maari po kayong kumonsulta po sa inyong mga guro for further explanation. And of course, write your answers on the space provided and share your worksheet with your peers during the group interaction. So, ano ba ang ating mga questions? So, we have here some reflection guide. So, uh, dito, isasagutin natin ito, natin ito in our own words, what is career planning and why is it important to me as a student? So, uh, di ba? 
Uh, na-mention ko na rin naman sa inyo na ang uh, definition ng career planning and the reason why it is important. Again, the reason why career planning is important because it guides us to where we want to go someday. What, uh, what are our plans? So, it guides us to have a clear path or uh, it enables us to have a clearer view of the things that we would like to have or the things that we want to have someday, like for example, ano ba ang gusto mong maging trabaho? What are your uh, career? What are your dream career? It's you to your uh, future plans, di ba? It leads you to the direction of uh, your future plans. And uh, why is career planning not a one-time decision but a series of decisions I make? So, bakit kaya sa tingin ninyo ang pagpaplano ng karir ay hindi lamang isahang uh, desisyon, uh, pero ito daw ay series of decisions I make, okay? So, another is, what should I consider in planning for my future career? Ano ba yung mga kailangan natin i-consider sa pagpaplano natin? Or ano ba yung mga kailangan natin i-consider sa pagpaplano natin ng ating mga future career? So, definitely, we have to consider a lot of things like, for example, our resources, our interest, our attitude, our likes and dislikes. So, napakarami, our interest. So, napaka-importante na gusto mo yung kukunin mong career. And at the same time, ito ay available din sa iyong community. Ito ba ay in demand? Okay, so we also have to consider the labor market, the kind of uh, aptitude you have. So, magaling ka ba? Sa tingin mo, kakayanin mo ba yung mga skills na kinakailangan para sa career na yun? And do you have these resources? Meron ka bang kakayahan para makuha itong career na to? Like, for example, uh, if you like to become a doctor someday, now, uh, kaya-kaya natin yung financial uh, requirements para sa pagiging, uh, para sa pag-aaral ng uh, kursong ito, di ba? So, yun ang mga, i- mga ibang mga factors na maaari natin i-consider and a lot more. So, you also have to think of some factors pa, okay? And another is, what are the basis of a career planning journey? Ano ba ang uh, pwede natin maging basihan sa pagpaplano natin ng ating career or uh, basihan natin sa ating career planning journey? Okay. Now, uh, if you, as you can see, we are going to fill up this part, ano? So, uh, this is entitled, My Career Planning Journey. So, napakadali lang naman nito. Kung mapapansin ninyo, it is categorized into five. We have setting, work, relationships, immediate goals, and long-term goals. Under setting, kailangan lang po natin itong sagutin, mahal kong mga estudyante, where do I like to live? Saan nyo ba gustong tumira? Baka naman kasi... Um, gusto mo dito lamang gusto mo sa Pilipinas or you want to stay abroad, di ba? So, another question that you have to answer is do I prefer to stay in one place or would I like to move on? Or do I like to move to a new location? Okay. So, baka naman ayaw mong iwanan din ang inyong mga magulang. Isa yun sa mga maaaring i-consider mo yung setting. Anong klase ba ng setting ang gusto mo? Do you want it to Gusto mo ba na malapit lang or gusto mo na mangibang lu- bayan, mangibang lugar, okay, pumunta sa ibang lugar, ano ba ang gusto mo? So, you have to ask yourself. Napaka-importante din ng setting dahil may mga trabaho na kailangan mong lumayo sa iyong pamilya or lumayo sa iyong mga mahal sa buhay. Now, ang tanong, kakayanin mo bang lumayo ka, kakayanin bang lumayo sa mga minamahal mo, okay? So, that's one thing that we have to consider in choosing a career and we also have there the second category is work now what type of work would i like to do ano bang klaseng trabaho ang gusto mo so gusto mo ba yung nasa field nasa opisina ka okay ano bang klaseng trabaho gusto mo ba yung trabaho nga medyo adventurous or uh, medyo challenging gusto mo ba yung trabaho na na hindi masyadong risky yung uh, yung permanent job what do you want to have what kind of work do you want to have and uh, you also have to ask yourself what is my ideal work environment ano bang klaseng uh, work environment ang gusto mo gusto mo ba yung uh, na paiba-iba ng work environment or you want a stable work environment do you want a work environment na medyo challenging? Okay? Ang uh, gusto ba yung nasa opisina, nasa field? 
Okay? Or uh, nasa ibang bansa, ano ba ang uh, gusto mong, ano ba yung tipo mo ng work, ano ba yung tipo ng work environment ang gusto mo? And what business do I plan to start? So, meron ka bang uh, plano na mag-business kung ikaw man ay magsisimula ng iyong uh, business or negosyo? Ano bang klaseng negosyo ang uh, maaring masimulan mo or uh, plano mong simulan? Okay. So, uh, mas maganda na yun. At least meron ka ng idea na mas spell out mo sa sarili mo that you're going to tell yourself that this is really, this is what I really want. This is the kind of business that I want someday. Kung dati rati hindi mo naiisip yun, now, this is a high time for you to think about that particular thing, especially about considering business, okay? And of course, meron tayo ditong relationships. Who would I like to spend, who would I like to spend time with? Ayan, so sino ba yung mga tao na gusto mong makasama, Okay? Um, is it your family? Is it your friends? Or do I prefer to spend more time by myself? Ayan. So, kailangan mong tanungin ang sarili mo na, okay lang ba sa'yo na mag-isa ka lang, na alone ka lang, like you can spend that more time by yourself, or uh, you want to be do, to spend more time with your family, with your friends, even though you are already working. And uh, what types of activities do I enjoy doing with the people in my life? Okay? Ano bang klaseng mga activity ang uh, nai-enjoy mo na ginagawa kasama ang iyong mga mahal sa buhay? So, napaka-importante na isipin din natin pala ang relationship sa pagpaplano natin ng career. So, dito marirealize natin that uh, our relationship may dictate uh, the kind of career that we might have someday. Dahil uh, minsan may mga pagkakataon na talagang uh, ang career natin ay uh, ang career natin ay maaapektuhan ang uh, klase ng relasyon na meron tayo sa iba or maaring maapektuhan nito ang rela relationship mo sa yung pamilya at sa yung mga kaibigan like for example kung ang career mo ay uh, very rigid like uh, you don't have like uh, you like talagang super busy na nga career mo na hindi mo halos na maka, maka okay, makita or makausap ang iyong mga pamilya. So, isa yon dahil uh, sobrang rigid ng career or sobrang extreme or hirap, maari din naman na uh, maapektuhan nito ang relationship ninyo dahil na nga maaring sa location or sa setting dahil malayo ang uh, malayo ka sa fami family mo or kaya naman maaring malayo ka sa mga friends mo or maaring maging uh, malayo ang destination mo di ba so it will affect the kind of uh, the kind uh, the relationship your relationship will be affected by the career that you are going to choose someday and of course meron din dito your immediate goals so when we say immediate goals this is referring to 1 to 3 years from now so what do i want to do within the next 1 to 3 years so ano bang gusto mong gawin uh, sa buhay mo okay simula ngayon ngayong taon hanggang 3 years okay 1 to 3 years from now Ano ba ang mga gusto mong gawin? So, maaaring isagot mo dito na gusto mong magtapos ng pag-aaral. So, maaaring at that particular time, after 3 years, you are still enrolled in college. You are still studying. Now, maaaring iyon ang mag-ilalagay nating immediate goals. And uh, under long-term goals, now this is after high school. What are my plans after high school? So, ano ba ang pinaka-plano mo matapos ng uh, graduation mo sa senior high school? And what kind of career would I like to pursue? Ano bang klaseng career? Ano bang klaseng trabaho ang uh, gusto mong uh, ipagpatuloy or uh, pursue? Okay? So, napakasimple lang na uh, gagawin nating pagsagot po dito sa module na ito. As you can see in tool 1, so kumbaga nasagot dito yung katanungan kung anong klasing buhay ang gusto mo kung ikaw ay tatanda na or uh, anong klasing buhay ang gusto mo pagtanda mo or pag ikaw ay naging adult na dahil dito makikita natin ang uh, klase ng setting na gusto mo pag ikaw ay uh, isa ng adult. Okay? Or after studying, anong klaseng setting ang gusto mo? Anong saan mo gustong tumira? Ano ang klase ng uh, pamumuhay ang gusto mo? ba? 
So uh, we are going to realize here the kind of life that we want as an adult. And at the same time, uh, we realize natin dito na ito pala ang mga career na gusto ko. Ito pala yung plano na iniisip ko para sa aking buhay. At ito pala ang mga tao na gusto kong makasama. Na kung ito ang gusto kong makasama, hab, uh, na kung ito ang gusto kong makasama someday, you know, maaaring... Uh, Iko-consider ko rin sila sa pagpili ko ng career. So, isa yun sa mga maaaring ma-realize mo sa activity na to. And at the same time, you will also be able to realize here that you have this, you have to set your immediate goals and long-term goals. Setting an imme immediate goals will always lead you to, yung, to your long-term goals. So, your immediate goals are those short-term goals na maaring iset mo sa sarili mo na kung saan mas uh, achievable ito, di ba? Mas madali itong ma-achieve dahil uh, maikli lang ang panahon na gugugulin mo sa yung mga short-term goals unlike sa long-term goals. But of course, these long-term goals will lead you to your dream to your career, your dream career. Now, uh, kasi dito, tatanungin mo na ngayon ang sarili mo kung ano ang iyong mga plano, ano ba talaga ang iyong gusto mo, uh, ano ba talaga ang gusto mo, at uh, paano ba, ano ba ang mga kailangan mong gawin para maabot mo ang pangarap na to. So, as you can see, this is actually a tool that features a career planning map. Ayan, ito ay isang career planning map Focusing on uh, your values. Ano ba yung mga pinapahalagahan mo? Dahil tandaan natin na uh, ang uh, pagpaplano natin sa ating career ay hindi separate sa pagpaplano natin sa ating uh, buhay, di ba? Career planning is not separate from planning the rest uh, one's life. Or uh, career planning is not separate from planning the rest of of one's life. To sum up na ito, masasagot natin through the setting, ano, we will be able to answer kung ano ba yung pinapahalagan mo in uh, one setting, di ba? So, focusing on what one values in ideal setting and personal interest. So, ano ba yung ideal setting mo and a personal interest? What is your ideal nature of work? What is your values when it comes to families and relationships? And uh, what are your uh, values in terms of immediate and long-term goals? Okay? Now, uh, remember... Now, remember that your responses here may still be changed or uh, it can still be improved. Ayan. So, maaari pa rin namang mabago ang ating mga sagot dito or mas ma-improve pa. Lalong-lalo na ngayon na napakinggan nyo na yung uh, kahalagahan ng uh, pag-consider din pala sa iba't ibang uh, values natin sa ating buhay. Ano ba yung mga pinapahalagahan natin? Ano ba yung mga gusto talaga natin? Or mga personal values natin? It's important is the process that you were able to discuss your plans among your peers. Because you can discuss this, your plans to your peers. Okay? Okay, so we are done with our first tool. Okay? So, we are done with our tool number one under the Multiple Career Development Toolkit. So, abangan nyo ang ating susunod na video para sa ating tool number two. And please do not forget to subscribe first to our channel, Your Guidance Counselor. And please click the notification bell para updated tayo sa lahat ng homeroom guidance videos or career guidance videos na i-upload ko for you, my dear students. So again, this is Ma'am Tere Buena saying bye for now and see you in our discussion of toolkit number two.